take a shower. Um, I have conditioner in my hair right now. It's crunchy is like the <laughs> How are you guys? How are you guys doing? Oh! Are you guys doing fine? Ask me why I'm taking my jewelry off. I don't wear, like wearing jewelry in the shower. It makes me feel heavy. It makes me feel weird. And it starts making my holes and body itch. I don't like that. Today's gonna be a nice little self-love video. I wanna do like a self-love series on my channel, literally. Literally, when I was depressed. <laughs> the self-love series on YouTube saved my life. Just created my New York City playlist. Go watch that. Thank you. I need to take a shower. I need to wash this out. I need to do my face. My tongue is so red because I just had hot Cheetos. Disgusting. It's not your fault that people take advantage of you. It's not your fault. Don't blame anybody. Situations like with someone manipulating them or someone like taking advantage of them as their fault. Because literally... When I was getting taken advantage of and manipulated, I don't really think it was my fault. It's just because I simply didn't know. I'm not knocking nobody for not for not being at the same mental state as me. It takes a while. It takes a while. You gotta go through shit to get to understand. Shit. And that's not everyone's case. Some people just be scared to even scared to go through stuff from they, from hearing other people's stories, and they just don't do it. I know a few people like that. Me, I don't do certain things because I've been through it. I'm not repeating a lot of patterns that didn't have good outcomes the first time and I'm not making it the second time. I'm not about to keep trying to hope for a different outcome of something when I know what it is. Not everyone knows. You truly don't know a person's intentions when they are trying to mess with you in any type of way. When you do get to the point where you want to be in life, I definitely notice people start acting a certain type of way towards you, doing things positively. Some people might try to break that down. Some people want to take what you have be envious for no reason so that they're not getting a piece of a pie that they didn't even help bake if you didn't help bake this pie why are you trying to get a piece of it those type of people are removed from my life completely when i started like loving myself more and start taking certain things people say to heart in which you should because we are too old for the games the second i started taking stuff to heart and really seeing people for what they are i started to have less people around me and the point in my life, I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't care to have a person. My hair is so dry after putting this conditioner in it. Like, it's giving rock. <laughs> I'd rather sit alone than with a bunch of snakes. I'm not about to sit here with a bunch of weird people just for the fun of it. Like, I, I, I don't know if I said it before, but those people that be saying, oh, I have friends for this, that, and this. I don't, I don't play them games. You, no, I don't play them games. Because in that case, why are we even friends? You're an acquaintance. Stop throwing a friend word around and you don't even know what the, the word friend means. I've never had somebody say to me, oh, you're my friend because you like clothes. You're my friend because you like the shop. You're my friend because you like the go. No, if I'm your friend, girl, I can be the whole package. I'm not about to be your friend for a specific thing because that means you're holding off the rest of the friendship. And I don't, I don't want a one-sided friendship because that's not how I operate. Mess with someone, I mess with them hard. I'm not about to mess with you just because of one thing. Because in that case, I can just go mess with myself, you <laughs> Literally. A lot of people always say, oh, when I make it to where I want to be, I start to feel obligated to help family, friends. Girl, you're not obligated to help anyone. You're not obligated to help no grown person do anything. We all got the same 24 hours as anybody. You can make do just how you make do. If you get to where you want to be before somebody else, it's not it's not knocking their success on how long or how long it took them to take. It's just some people put more effort in than others. Some people have their lazy moments, and it's cool. But how I think of it is, I feel though I'm running out of time. That's why I try to make sure I perfect everything I do, just because I don't want to run out of time and it's too late. Like that's just my fear. I don't know why that's my fear, and that's probably why I'm like so like hard working and like driven, like because I just don't want to run out of time. I don't want to run out of time because I know a lot of older people. They always say, oh. I waited until I was 25, 30, 35, and 40 to get my life together, and I wish I would've did it younger. I don't wanna sit there and say that. That is going to scare me, because I literally, the time that I was doing a bunch of bull when I was a teenager and a young adult, and then an adult, I should've just been doing it then instead of waiting until I'm literally an adult adult to have my life all figured out. I don't wanna do that. I pay attention to people when I, like, even people close to me now, I still analyze them just to make sure it ain't nothing wrong. Like, yeah, I mess with you, but your head, your head, your head, you can start thinking a certain type of way. And I can, and quite frankly, I won't be able to do anything about that. You can start switching the way you think, act. And what am I going to do? I can't sit here and just be like, oh, I, I, I'm, I, I'm just going to pretend like I mess with the new you and I really don't. 
Like a person can change, you can mess with somebody for years, months, and then the way they think switches. Me, for example, the way I started thinking switch, and when it switched, a lot of people didn't like it. I lost mostly all of my friends, how I started thinking, and then I thought as though it was my fault. No, it's just we are not on the same mind field. We're to be messing with each other, because I don't want to sit here and party and drink and smoke all day. I don't. I don't want to be slumped up at somebody's hotel party at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning when I could be home doing things I actually like. Me partying a lot, like all the time, like I can't do that. I like to go to dinners, brunches, travel. Like I don't want to sit here and just smoke in a smoke and drink. No offense to anyone that does, that's just not me. I'm not about to sit here and smoke and drink at in every hotel until 5 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. Missing out on memories. Oh my god, I need to wash my face. Hold on. One hour later. Honestly, the product worked pretty good. My face does not feel like heavy or anything. I actually kind of like it. Because this was the foaming one. When I brought this one, this one just, it came out recently. I like to see soap when I'm using things that have soap in it. I need to see it. Because then it makes me feel like I need to use extra product. Like, I feel as though I'm wasting my life just sitting here partying and, and getting slumped up to the point where I can't even walk. That's fun and all. But every every other day, every weekend, no. I got I to gotta get this life together, child. I'm trying to sit in my lovely mansion in a few years. I ain't got time to be doing this every day with y'all. And people don't like that. People, you tell people, oh, no, I want to sit this one out. And I realize people start acting real funny and say, I'm not going to go to your birthday party because you didn't come to mine. Cut those people off. Because if you're really going to sit there and feel away because I don't want to attend something because what I have going on to better my future or what I'm trying to do in life, I don't need to be associated with you at all. You're feeling this type of way about me not coming to an event and for you to purposely say you're not gonna go to an event of mine out of spite, ill. You're a child. <laughs> We're gonna hop in the shower and we'll be right back. One hour later. It's like a wet dog. Am I allowed to show police? <laughs> but yeah. I don't even remember what I was just talking about. I was in here for so long. I'm a forgiving person, so I always forgave them. And every time I forgave them, the pattern happened again. People do change, people do change. But I say, I say it takes a lot of maturing to really see if a person has changed. Just going off on a limb and saying, oh, they changed just because you wanna be naive and be forgiving, that means nothing because you're gonna end up putting yourself in a situation you don't wanna be in because the person is either A, continuously disrespecting you or B, doing something to harm you. A person is gonna do what you allow. See a lot of people, they bring people back from their past First of all, let me just say, a person will literally sit there and guilt trip you and say things like, oh, we've been friends for six years, 16 years, five years, 15 years, but you don't want to talk about what happened in that duration of time to where we fell out. Don't bring up the past if you don't want to discuss the past. Like a person will bring up the past, but don't want to talk about what led to us separating in that. Don't try to, oh, well, it's a time stamp on it. So the time means something. Time means nothing if you disrespect me in that duration of time and you don't even want to speak on it. I just can't, I can't get down with that. I can't get down with people that can't take accountability. I can't get down with people that sit there and continuously lie. I can't, can't get down with people that have people around them that enables their bad behavior. You should not have another adult enable your bad behavior at a person's group. Well, the people I associate with myself with now at their big grown age. <laughs> I think I told you guys a few times that I was in a vulnerable space and I was feeling very less of myself a couple months ago and I would just put my trust in everyone. People took advantage of that. People took advantage of how nice I was. People took advantage of my money. People took advantage because I let them, <laughs> because I let them. I don't wish I can go back to fix any of it. Honestly, I'm happy it happened because if it didn't happen, I wouldn't be where I am now. But I hate when you start to love yourself. They hate that. They hate that you ain't letting the same stuff slide that you used to. Now how I think of my friendships, I don't get in a friendship or a relationship with someone if I don't see longevity. And especially in a relationship. Relationships take a lot of time and effort to perfect. And if you're not gonna put that work in to get to know me and get to know me as a whole and not just what's on the outside, I don't see a point of us furthering this at all. All I can do is just go about, I can tell you things I can allow and if you choose to do it, that's your choice. That will be my choice if I'm going to remove myself from you. All right. Stop trying to change people. Don't try to change people who don't want to be changed. Um, like, subscribe, share, comment, and don't forget to view the video constantly if you enjoyed. I love you guys. Love yourself more than anybody. Um, value yourself. Cherish yourself. Uh, spoil yourself. All of that. Adios. And yeah. <laughs>